Hello, it's Keith from K-Maze Corner. Welcome back to K-Maze Jams. Just another Minecraft series. Yes. Episode number 16. And what are we doing today? Well, look around me. It's semi-complete, but really it ain't complete. Ignore those pistons back there. And the hole in the wall. But look. This whole area needs to be refurbished so part of what i'm doing today is i'm gonna beautify my base yes we're gonna beautify my base but let me just show you real quick before we beautify my base what i've done um i don't know if you guys know this this is rt r2d2 and i have a little sneaky little ex, ex uh, exit out the back exit out the back and um this used to be my little fishing hole, my little ice fishing. And um, as you see, the terrain goes right up to the building. And it did over here until recently. I've cut out the wall, all the terrain from <laughs> this. I got some more cutting out to do, I guess, or some cleaning up. But the pathway that I have over there is going to continue around here and maybe go like to this distance. And then I'm going to have some more green field. And what does people do with green fields? We make weird fountain looking things. So yeah, I'll probably make a weird fountain looking thing over here. A smaller one. Depends though. Once I get the pathway done, I may not make the fountain because you know ideas flow with how things look so when I change the look of this I don't know but there there's another fountain design that I have that I think might look okay here so that's what I did outside and now I brought this window all the way down and as you see it's all like ugh. so I was gonna clean out that <laughs> inside area and um, beautify it and that's what we're gonna do for most of this episode just to hint back at the prior episode I wanted to show you what I changed about this fountain all this is the same as it was last time we got the glass way up in the sky we've got the floaties but I decided um, like I said I was going to I put the glowstone into the ground and put the purple glass on top of that remember last time the glass was standing up above above the water now it's in the water so it's not so dramatic uh, an effect um, and I also changed the, this out to kind of mimic what's inside the, the farm let's go check that out real quick um, in the center console here is a string of blue clay dyed clay so that's kind of what that was mimicking a little bit and if I really wanted to, I should drop this glowstone down and put a purple glass thing there. And also, an, this tree farm is basically done. Um, at least the front side is done. I started working back here a little bit for the, the single trees, and that's for uh, another time. <laughs> Not today. Um, I do have that those blocks there because this is an ice plains and if I don't have these blocks blocking the water there it will freeze so that means we need to put a ceiling on this so I don't have to worry about that um, and the idea for the ceiling is we take the center piece the center of this which will be this block right here I believe I'll figure that out in the future when I decide to do this and right up top above everything else I am gonna make a mural of the Sun so this will be the center of the Sun and the Sun is gonna go around a big circle up there and I'm gonna use yellow orange and red for the Sun basically or red yellow and orange then I'm gonna have the colors of sunset go slowly morphing out through other colors like purple and magenta to the edges of the thing so basically I'm gonna the ceiling is gonna be glass 
it's going to be a partial dome, not like that so big. Well, this is a bigger area, but it's not going to be domed out as big as this. It's only going to go up maybe five or six blocks, then it's going to go straight across the top, I believe. I will figure that out when I'm working on it. But the mural will be up there, so when you look up, you will get a sunset mural, which will be pretty awesome. Um, just to give a closer idea of what I've done out here, last time I showed this, I had little, uh, just a little archway here. I decided to make the full X through the center with the glass. Initially, I was afraid that these little partitions where there's no glass here because of the stairs was going to stick out like a sore thumb, but when you look at it, it really doesn't. So I decided to keep it, and first I'm like, damn it, what am I going to do about these stairs? So I take them out, but I think the, the look of the X, which stands for xylophone, <laughs> there's no reason why there's an X there, other than to have four different areas, you know. Um, and if I were to cover this area with glass, it would be purple, just for, uh, for, I don't know, just to even it out. You know, purple, purple, blue, blue. Purple, purple, blue, blue. Same thing over here, purple, purple, blue, blue. So that's, I got the purple, purple, blue, blue. <laughs> Purple, purple, blue, blue. So, um, I do eventually, and maybe even in this episode, um, fill this all, make this, beautify this. I might drop the floor one, keep the redstone, because I don't like redstone on the ground like this, um, and also cut into the redstone over there, which is kind of scary because there's a lot of water in this build and playing around with the redstone um, is kind of scary. What is down here? Okay. So I am going to make this floor, drop it down one, make the floor um, these types of bricks and have this maintenance area completely finished and beautified somehow. Don't know for sure that might happen in this episode, but I am not too sure. Also, another thing that I did when you guys were gone, I don't know, I, I sat around and waited for you guys, but nobody showed up, so I just went along and just made it because nobody was around. But um, I'll show you the work I did, and I made an etho door. This is going to be the main entrance to the base, and main entrances to the base can't go right into a wall. So, <laughs> I am going to show you how to make one of these in a minute. But basically, this will be my main way in. I'm going to have this walkway go around, like I said earlier. Maybe a bridge over to there somehow, or if I don't really need it, because I got the ice here that I actually placed so I could get over there without swimming. In one of the very first episodes, as a matter of fact. But, um... Yeah, this is a basic etho door. Very easy. It works on a pulse. That's why it's so quick. And that's why it rocks. Other than the fact that etho made it. So, yeah, it's actually a very simple door to make. And I was really surprised. But having this door like this, I can't just walk into a wall. So this whole area, which I... Um hinted at er earlier at least going in that direction I might make it symmetric on this side too because making things symmetric is pretty cool and I can finally get rid of my first hidey hole setup this is like the first place where I hung out for the night and went caving I'm pretty sure I can watch the video and confirm that but all these blocks like out here um, where I got rid of all the land out here, I'm going to do get rid of all the land in here. So, when you look into here, you can see a broad expanse to where my the room is for the, the drop down to my mine. So, um, that is what we're going to be doing today. But first, I wanted to show you about the Etho door. Oh my god, who stole my world? 
What's going on? Why is there only grass? There's no hills. There's no nothing. And there's a village in the background. I can get villagers to my villager spawner. Yeah. And what is that? Ew. Learn make that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Here's my little creative world. Um, there's not much in here right now because I just started to figure out what I wanted to do with the fountain there. There's got to be lots of builds in here eventually. But I figured seeing I made the etho door without you guys around, I wanted to show you real quick how to make an etho door. So I made one that's working here in a different style with nothing covering up anything that you really want to do. And it's super simple. So I'm going to go over in a tutorial kind of like fashion and show you, tell you how to make this. Okay. So when you take away the blocks, what I'm talking about, here's the initial eight. You put a block on top just to, for when the floor goes down and the, the piston pulls this down and that one up, you have the matching ceiling. So that's what these two blocks are and that two blocks there are. So what you want to do once you got this weird H shaped thing, <laughs> uh, you want to put three pistons on the side for the three blocks on both sides of the door. One in the center up top and one in the center down below, which is pretty simple. So there's eight sticky pistons right there. Then what you want to do with the eight sticky pistons is make some sort of, from the top, you put half slabs on the top of each one of these pistons. Top there, then you come out one. So you put one there and one on the outside Then get rid of the one on the inside. Then trying to alternate this theme all the way down to one level below the piston down here you just want to spam redstone on that and you do the same thing over here you make that same sort of um i don't know spiral staircase for the redstone i guess you could say and add a line going to the center piston on both sides ignore the repeaters for now just continue this line to the center piston and an important thing you want to do is put a line underneath this piston that will trigger this piston and make the line continue to the other side and at the top on one side you need to trigger this piston over here so you add two half slabs to the top door frame so right now we just have half slabs and some redstone nothing too complicated so the pistons are all wired up now so what we need to do is give the pistons a signal so where are you gonna have your your uh, pressure plates a block underneath you make the line of redstone underneath the pressure plate so either, any of the ones that you step up there will trigger <laughs> it will trigger <laughs> it will signal <laughs> this redstone right here and the redstone leads after four so you got three for underneath the pistons add one more I mean three for underneath the pressure plates add one more to the line and stick a sticky piston facing up and throw a block on it and just put a repeater heading towards the center line and that's all you do you repeat that on this side the three add one put a piston facing up add a block to it and the repeater towards the center line that's all it is so basically you have your center eight yeah two blocks on top and two blocks on the bottom to make things beautiful when the things open you add the, the pistons on the side, one on top, one on below. Make the spiral staircase to put the um, redstone on. Same thing over here, the spiral half slabs. At make the line go underneath towards the center piston, underneath the center piston, then back out the other side. So it's basically one big loop. You add the two slabs here and continue the line to the center piston. So it's all very basic. Then Underneath where the pressure plates are going to be, you add the line of redstone, lengthen it one, put a piston facing up, and put a block on it and a repeater there. That's all it is. Should take five, ten minutes tops to make this thing. And you make three or four of them, you can do them in your, with your eyes closed in three minutes. So that's the etho door. Very, very easy. And most people recognize the door. Let's see. Uh, stairs. Let's get some good stairs in here. That's, yeah. I never build with this stuff. Get away. 
So a lot of people, you know, you've probably seen the door like this. Or something like that. Obviously not with the die right there. But you know, it can work with the stairs. And that's the way a lot of people have it set up. What's good about this is that, let me close it. You can shoot through there, see if it's dark out or whatever. So it's a very good system to use. So I'm just finishing up the inside chamber of my base. Um, been working on it a little bit. I was going to show it in video, but I got a little busy last night and I decided to finish it. Um, I'm just putting the last couple of touches on it. And I'll show you what it looks like in a second. Oh, I don't have a crafting table. Craft away! A crafting table. Furnace, furnace. Anvil! Yes. So this is uh, my almost complete, but not really, just... Um, of my enter base. You remember when we went through the door and we walked into a wall? And then we had to come around here and there was some chests here against the wall and a couple of furnaces, my bed. Which reminded me, where's my bed? Bed! Come here, bed! We don't want you in here. We want you back in here. Um, let's put it on this side, away from the window. I'm gonna, I still need to figure out exactly what I'm gonna be doing for this room, lights and all. Because it does seem kind of, I'm gonna put an extra in there. I gotta probably put down a carpet image down here. Um, so I can put some jack-o'-lanterns or something underneath it. But I kind of mimic the outside of this building for the inside of this walkway. And the worst part about this is when I walked through here, the entrance I had was one block over to the left. And I realized that after I made everything, so I decided to move everything on the wall to the right, including these stripes and stuff. Um, I may add some something in here and something in there. Um, but I don't know what yet. And I do need do feel like this room needs to be separated somehow, like wall and a wall over there. But I don't really know because um, it's really long and really skinny. It's more like a stick figure than an actual room. <laughs> but I mean, it's yeah, I don't need that there. It's getting there. Um, the way I build is I just basically build a basic structure. And keep making it more complex as time goes on. And I think um, I think it kind of works. And another thing I worked on since the last time I uh, recorded a clip for this video was this walkway. I completed it on the other side. I extended this wall, I guess you could say, around here. Um, and added the flooring and fixed it up so I can look in there. Yeah, I definitely got to get rid of those torches. And, uh, and it comes over here for some reason I don't know yet. Um, I think maybe having something out right here building wise that is useful somehow. Fishing, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, make an ice fishing hole, I don't really know. Um, but this walkway goes this other way. And I've come to realize that I'm not a big fan of... In order to keep the curve better, I decided I wanted to move that particular block. Um, I'm not a big fan of... This wall, either. I am a big fan of this view, though. Where you can see into that stick figure room. And see the tree farm in the background at the same time through the glass. I think that's kind of cool. But I need to do something out here, um, fountain, something useful, I don't know. Maybe this is where I'm going to keep my sheep farm. I mean, I do have the sheep over there, but uh, they're all the white sheep. And I bred so many so I can start separating them into little pens of different color. I guess I will test out my new bed now. And um, so if you have any ideas or suggestions what I can do out here, and what I can do with this fence. I'm not a big fan of this fence. 
I'm thinking maybe of putting some um, iron bars on top of the the packed ice blocks and doing, you know, maybe raising the diorite up a block, but we need to do something and it's just not looking good right now. Um, so if you have any suggestions for that, let me know. I don't know what this guy is trying to do to me, but I don't know. Are you going to hurt yourself again? Aww. Pet Spidey. Spidey. Come on. Don't be hurting yourself. No hurting allowed. But anyways, um, this is going to be doing it for today's episode. Episode 16 of Minecraft Jams. <laughs> Can't say that any louder. We're getting some work done back there. Um, guy. Like, really. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. That kind of feels good. Um, Jesus Christ, man. Not on camera. Oh. Now you know what I do with my pet spider. <laughs> well, anyways. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I just did. I just made a mess. Woo I need a cigarette. Um. And I will talk to you guys later at the next episode when we figure out what we're going to do. I think I'm going to work on the roof back there. Finally put a roof on the tall part of the tree farm and call that done! And I'll actually do the roof part on camera with you guys. Or at least go through the motions of it. Um, to show you what I'm doing as I'm building it. I don't know if it will take up the whole episode. I guess I'm going to have to go get some sand and some glass. And some dye and some other stuff. But where's my spider? Friend or lover, yes. Well, hmm. Bestiality on Minecraft. Oh, okay. This is getting bad. Have a good day. It's Keith for a K Corner. Where are you going, buddy? Bye. <laughs>